Hey guys, I'm Eric Valland, and I'm a lifestyle portrait photographer based out of New York City. What we're gonna be talking about in this video is the Broncolor HS feature. So what Broncolor HS allows you to do is you can synchronize with your strobes out here on location or in the studio at absolutely any shutter speed. Where we used to be restricted by our flash sync speed on our cameras, that's no longer gonna be an obstacle for us because we enable the HS function on the new Broncolor RFS 2.2 trigger and then with compatible strobes, we can synchronize at absolutely any shutter speed. And that allows us to do a lot of things. It allows us to go ahead and darken all the existing ambient light in the scene so that we can have a nice level of contrast there and make our subjects really pop off the photograph. It also allows us to use that shallow depth of field that we get with our nice prime lenses. We can shoot at 1.4 or 1.8 and use a faster shutter speed to still get a balanced exposure out on bright days. And finally, it allows us to freeze motion. By using a faster shutter speed, we can freeze all the ambient light action and we can freeze whatever part of the subject we illuminate with our strobe. Let's go ahead and grab our model, take advantage of this beautiful bright sunny day here in Central Park in New York City and get some shots. So here we are in our first location and I'm using the Cirrus L here. So this is a battery powered monolight from Braun Color. And what I love about it is it has the Braun HS function built into it. So what I do is I simply go here to my center menu, I scroll over to HS, click it again to make sure it's on, click it one more time to confirm it, and I am ready to go. This is now Broncolor HS enabled and can shoot at any shutter speed with my DSLR. So the next part of our setup is gonna be our trigger. So I have here the Broncolor RFS 2.2. This one's for my Nikon camera. I simply hit the HS button on the back, make sure that that's turned on, hit the HS button again to confirm the selection. And now this is in Braun Color HS mode, this is in Braun Color HS mode, and I can seamlessly shoot at any shutter speed I want. So for our first location, this is gonna be really important. If you look behind me, I've got the beautiful Belvedere Castle here in the middle of Central Park, and you're gonna see it's extremely overexposed. So as we go over next door to frame up our first shot, I'm gonna be at F5, ISO 100, and 1 200th of a second. That's my normal sync speed for my Nikon cameras. And I'm gonna take this first shot and it's horribly overexposed. You can't even really see any detail in the castle because it's so bright. So what we do here for our next shot, I need to be at about one two thousandth of a second at F5 to get the proper exposure. Uh, you're gonna see here that that's gonna leave our model in a silhouette situation. And normally we'd be stuck because here I'm not gonna be able to synchronize at that shutter speed. But with the Broncolor HS mode, it allows me to sync at any shutter speed so I simply turn the trigger on, fire away, and we're gonna get that beautiful soft fill light from our five foot octobank up front. So there you have it, really quickly and easily, we knocked down that really bright ambient light here in the middle of the afternoon in Central Park, and we were able to do that by using a faster than normal shutter speed combined with the synchronization of our strobe. So now let's move to our next location a little farther south into the park, and we're gonna set up to use our prime lenses pretty much wide open while still synchronizing using the Braun Color HS feature. So here we are in location number two. We've got the beautiful bow bridge behind us. And now what's unique about this is we're not gonna have to compete with that bright sun like we did in the last shot. Here you can see that our location is already a little bit in the shade. So what I'm gonna wanna do is go ahead and bring out one of my prime lenses here. And I'm gonna do that one, cause it's gonna gather light in the shade more efficiently. And two, it's also gonna blur my background really quickly so that all of the tourists and other people here enjoying the day in the park, they aren't gonna be distracting elements in our photograph. They're just gonna blur completely into the background. So normally when you're shooting a prime lens on a bright day like this, we'd run into some issues with our sync speed. If you're gonna be shooting at 1.4 or 1.8 wide open like that, to get a proper exposure that's gonna put us at a very fast shutter speed. Normally we would not be able to synchronize with the strobe here, but because of the Braun Color HS, we can shoot at any shutter speed. So no matter where we land to get our proper exposure, I know that that strobe is gonna fire every time and fill the frame perfectly to illuminate our subject and make her pop out of the photograph. So now that we've bounced around the bridge and gotten some great shots with those blurry backgrounds wide open on our lens, let's go ahead and wrap this shot and go to our next location and I'll show you what else we can do using this Braun Control HS. So here we are at our third and final location and in this shot I wanna show you just how we can use that Braun Color HS feature to go ahead and really freeze motion, get that tack sharp so if we got any movement in our subjects or in the dress, we can render that frozen and beautiful in the final photograph. So we're at the famous Umpire Rock on the southern end of Manhattan. I've got beautiful buildings in the background and some of the sun setting over there to the right. But what that's giving me is essentially a backlit or a silhouette situation on my model. 
So I'm gonna have to bring in some light from the front. We're gonna do another Cirrus 800L unit here with the five foot octobank, and that's gonna go ahead and fill her in from the front. So I have nice rim lighting from our sun, a key light from our Cirrus, and we've got some nice buildings and environment there in the background. We're gonna have our subject bouncing all over the place here, leaping between the rocks and dancing around because she's got some nice flowy movement in her dress and we wanna freeze that. Now, brawn collar strobes are legendary for freezing motion because of their fast flash duration. The only problem is when you're using strobes outdoors and you're at your sync speed of one two hundredth of a second, anything that's being lit by ambient light and not by your strobe light normally blurs. So all we have to do is maintain this brawn collar HS function that we've been doing, making sure it's turned on our strobe. And when we go ahead and shoot, we can use a fast shutter speed to freeze the ambient light. And then the fast light from the strobe will freeze our subject as well. So we're not gonna have to worry about any blur anywhere in the photograph, and it's gonna give us tack sharp, beautiful results. So there you have it. We were able to use the Braun Color HS to really darken the sky to get a dramatic, nice balanced portrait there by the castle. And then we moved on and we were able to shoot wide open with our prime lenses in the middle of the day to get a nice, beautiful blurry background to limit distractions. And then finally, we came over here, we got some movement, some action in front of our lens, and we're able to freeze it tack sharp using the Braun Color Cirrus L and the Braun Color HS feature on it. So this Braun Color HS function is absolutely amazing to use out on location. If you've got one of those compatible strobes like the Cirrus L or the Braun Color Move Kit, I definitely recommend you check it out. In studio, make sure you turn it off and just use your strobes as normal. But when you're out here shooting on location and you're fighting with that bright sun and really want creative control of your images, that Braun Color HS function is gonna allow you to get just that. Beautiful photos, tack sharp every time.